on Robinson Street that police say Marlon Facey was riding his bicycle with his pit bull puppy on a leash behind him. Now, according to a woman on this street, that puppy could not keep up with Robinson and was basically being dragged along. The woman reportedly confronted Marlon Facey and was told to mind her own business. She called police, who caught up with him a short time later and found the dog did have some redness and blood on his paws. Is your dog doing okay? Or? Yes, yeah, she's okay. We went to Facey's Pawcatuck home to see what he had to say about the incident and were told to leave. Can you guys get off my property, please? Okay, so you don't want to talk to us then? I'm saying to get off my property. Okay. After our camera was put away, Facey brought out the dog to show us he was okay. Was it his dog or was it? Yeah, it was a family dog. Oh, that's horrible. No, that's. That shouldn't have happened. Leslie Gomes' two-month-old Shih Tzu is a lot smaller than the five-month-old Pitbull, but she can't believe anyone would force a young dog to try to keep up with someone on a bicycle. He should have been taking a little bit better care of his dog than doing that. The dog, who otherwise was being well cared for and had all its shots, was given back to Facey's family. Oh, that's good. Well, that's good. Well, hopefully he learned his lesson and won't do that again. At the time of the arrest, police say the dog did not need any veterinary care, but when we spoke to Facey this morning, he said he just brought the dog to the vet and he was fine. On the scene in the Pawcatuck section of Stonington, Tina Detell, News 8.